Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're making some chicken rice bowls. Now the Italians call this arancini but of course we Trinis have to make it our own and give it our own twist. So let me jump straight into this one. This recipe was requested by Lisa. So Lisa, this is how it's made and everyone else. So we're going to start in a skillet and we're adding in oil. Once the oil comes up to temperature, we'll go in with our aromatics. We're adding in finely chopped onions. I have red and white, pimento peppers, sweet pepper, scallions, also known as siphon trinidad. We're going to season with a little salt. Don't add too much salt. Some complete seasoning goes in next. And we're going to let this saute until everything is tender and very fragrant. You'd want to have your heat on a medium for this. Do not, do not let them burn. So once this, they're softened and they're tender, we're going to go in with garlic and tomatoes. And we're going to allow that to saute until the garlic is very tender. And you want the tomatoes to start breaking down. Now once the tomatoes start to break down, we're going to go in with some chicken. Now you'll notice the chicken is not seasoned. We'll season it in the pot or you can pre-season it. I'm using salt and complete seasoning. If you wanted to season with some green seasoning also, you can. I'm going to give that a mix and allow this to cook and fry up in there for about 5 minutes. Once it starts to stick to the bottom, you'll know that it's ready for water. Just be careful, you don't want to burn it. So at this point, we'll add in enough water to cover the chicken and allow it to cook. Now this is chicken breast, so it's going to cook pretty easily. If you were using thigh, I would suggest doubling the amount of liquid. And you're going to allow it to bubble and cook until the chicken is tender and the sauce in there reduces. Don't rush it. This should take anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes because it's breast. You see how the water has reduced that liquid in there now there's still a little amount you don't want all to dry out completely now we're going to take our potato masher or you can use a fork or you could process this in your food processor and we're just going to mash it just to make it look like pull chicken so you see how that looks that that's how you want it so now this is finished at this point you can taste and adjust your salt accordingly. So look at that. Perfect, right? So make sure and give it a taste. But to finish this and add some additional flavor, I'm adding in some chopped cilantro. Not bandania and not culantro. This is cilantro, what you use when you're making tacos and a lot of the Mexican recipes. It does add a very distinct flavor. So set that aside and allow it to cool down. And once it's cooled down, then we'll be ready to make our balls. You wanna lightly oil your hands because I'm using jasmine rice. You want a sticky rice for this so that the balls can hold its shape. I'm pressing out one scoop and I'm gonna take another scoop of the filling and place it in the center. And we want to bring that up to close the bowl now if you have a little less rice for the top by all means just pick some up and cover it you want to make sure and cover the bowl right around really well with rice so that the meat isn't peaking we're making a stuffed bowl so you want it to be in the inside and you're going to take both hands and squeeze on it really well until it comes together and it holds its shape and you're going to continue to make the balls until you've made out all of them now I'm gonna show you guys a little trick and this is the way arancini is usually made what they'll do is they'll take their filling and they'll add it to the rice and then they'll mix everything and once they mix everything then they'll form their balls so you guys can add you want to do the ratio of two parts rice to one part chicken because that rice is what's going to hold the bowl and if you have less rice it's not going to hold make sure grease your hands 
and go ahead and make your balls and you want to press really really tight so that that ball really holds its shape now once you finish making your balls you're going to go ahead and cover them and place them in your refrigerator for about 20 minutes this is just going to help firm up the balls further so that when you're ready to dredge and fry it does not fall apart now for the dredging station you will need plain flour two eggs beaten and some seasoned breadcrumbs you're going to take the ball dip it into the flour and shake off any excess make sure you cover all sides really well then it goes into the egg wash and you're going to coat it in that egg wash thoroughly and then you're going to roll it in the breadcrumbs you want to make sure that it's properly covered and please make sure and use seasoned breadcrumbs for this step because you really want that flavor on the outside next once you've finished dredging all of them will fry them they fry up pretty quickly so you want to dredge all of them so you have them to fry at the same time and we're going to fry these on a medium medium high heat they, they're not going to take very long to cook because remember the rice and the filling is already cooked so we just want to crisp and brown the outside so these should take anywhere between five to eight minutes and watch how beautiful and golden they look all you have to do now is take them out drain them properly and place them on paper towels to drain further and that's it your balls are now ready to be enjoyed now you can serve this with a marinara if you want but in true trini style we are serving this with some pepper sauce so i hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe look at the two insides of the different balls that we made if you make it comment down below let me know what you think if you need any help with the recipe feel free to message me via instagram or email thank you all so much for joining me today do remember to stay safe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone.